structure of numerical summarization pattern. We know that whenever we are dealing with a big set of data, then the, those data are to be categorized, are to be clubbed depending upon some criteria and then we are supposed to calculate the summary on the numerical values. So, summary means some statistical functions. So, let us discuss structure of numerical summarization pattern. The numerical summarization pattern has mapper, combiner and the reducer and this combiner is optional. So, the mapper finds the keys that consists of each field to group by and the values consisting of numerical items. So, here the mapper will be dealing with some key value pairs as usual and mapper will find the keys that consists of each field of group by and values will be consisting of the respective numerical items because until and unless the values are numerical, we cannot apply any statistical functions over them. These outputs are intermediate and these will not be stored onto the HDFS. The mapper output does not get stored onto the HDFS because it is the intermediate output. So, its output will be saved on the local disk. The combiner is optional and it is good practice to use combiners to decrease the overhead of the reducer. So, combiner will do some reducing task before the reducer. So, that is why combiner can also be called as mini reducer. The combiner usage is optional, but if we use the combiner, then obviously that will reduce the overhead on the reducer. The combiner reduces the number of key value pairs of each split and sends it to the respective reducer. So, combiner will do some clubbing. So, it will calculate some statistical values out of some set of similar keys. So, that is why it is doing a reducing operation prior the data set is made available to the actual reducer. So, here you can get the respective idea. So, here we are having multiple mappers and this mappers will produce the key and the summary field values like in this way and they will be available to the respective partitioner and then this partitioner will do the shuffling and shorting and the values will be the key value pairs will be available to the respective reducer and reducer will produce the final summary summary of the data depending upon the same key values. So, here this summary will be obtained by applying some of the statistical functions. So, the numerical summarization pattern structure we have shown here in this diagram. So, finally, the reducer phase it receives the numerical values associated with the keys to perform the actual reducing task and that is the structure of numerical summarization pattern. So, in this way using this particular diagram we have got the idea that how this numerical summarization pattern is actually playing its role in our MapReduce applications. Thanks for watching this video.